Welcome kindergarten to our next project. Um, if you have not uh, read already, um, please get the shapes um, that we used for the last project with the color wheel. Um, we need the circle, the triangle, the heart, and the square. We're gonna need those today. Make sure that you keep these uh, shapes. We're gonna be using them throughout the year as well. Um, if you got rid of them or if you never pick them up, just feel free to um, draw your own um, shape trying to get close to the same uh, size as mine. So I am going to take these and move them off to the side here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is look at my paper. So I've taken my art book. I have the spiral up at the top. So I've turned it now horizontal, just like we did with the color wheel. And the first thing I'm gonna do is try to find the center. So halfway from this side to this side and find where I think the center is. Then I'm gonna draw a straight line down, okay? Then I'm going to take my paper and I'm gonna turn it this way. And now I'm gonna look at the top from this edge to this edge, and I'm gonna to try to find the center there. And so now I'm gonna hold my paper down and I'm gonna draw a line that goes this way. I'm gonna take my paper again and turn it back to how we had it in the start. So what I have now are four rectangles um, that are all pretty equal in size. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my shapes and I want you to watch where I put them and I want you to watch um, what shapes I'm putting where. So I have my square. I'm gonna move it over so that it's closer to the line, but I still wanna have a little bit of space between the line and the square, but I wanna have a lot of white space over here. Then I'm gonna take my heart I'm gonna put my heart like this, where it's again, close to that line, but there's still a space, but there's a lot of space over here. Then I'm gonna take my circle and I'm gonna place it at the bottom here. It's not all the way down at the bottom. It's not all the way up at the top. Again, in the middle, going this way. Um, and then it's closer to the um, line over here, still a little bit of space kind of even with that heart. And then the last shape is our triangle. And for the triangle, normally we have triangles with the point that goes up. We're gonna flip it so that the um, straight line is up at the top and the point is down at the bottom. And what we're gonna do with this one is we are going to move it over here so that we have a lot more space here. And it's close to the edge of the paper. Um, and if you look up above, there should be a nice white space and the square should be in the opposite spot, okay? So this is why I want it. Um, a little bit of space up here, a little bit of space at the bottom as well, okay? So now that you have your shapes where we need them, now we're gonna do a little bit more practicing with our um, holding and our tracing, okay? So I'm gonna start with the square. You can start with whatever shape you want. Again, pencil, or again, I'm using pen, but you guys are using pencil, is going to be straight up and down. Okay, and I can take that off. I'm gonna hold the heart now. I like to start in the middle, slow down when I get to the point. Then I can move my hand around to the other side. And then with that, I can take that off. My points didn't match, so I'm gonna add that line. I'm gonna hold my circle now. Once I hit my hand, remember, I can hold down with the hand that has the pencil, move my hand, and then once it's holding down, I can move that. And then now I'm going to do my upside down triangle with the flat part on the top. 
And again, constantly moving my hands without moving the tracer. Slow down when you get close to those points. It's really easy to slide past it. Okay. So now that we have that, um, we are going to write a word in each of the squares. So the first word that we're going to write is happy. Okay. And so with happy, we're going to start out with an H. That. And then we're going to write an A. And you can just watch. And then a Y after two P's. And if you need to, you can write or make a little line first. And then my next word is going to be sad. And if you have mom and dad there or grandma or a friend and you need to add another line and maybe a space line, maybe they can do that to help you out. Okay. So with this one, now I'm going to make an A. And then a D. So if I need to do that again, this one's going to have to be a little bit longer. Kind of looks like a road. And this one's going to be scared. S C A R. And the last one, and we want to leave a lot of space up here because we're going to be doing some things up above. So we're going to go and write mad. M A D. Hopefully, not what some of you are feeling as you are being forced to write again. Okay. So over here I have happy, I have sad, I have scared, and I have mad. Okay. The last thing I want you to do for today is get a black marker. And I want you to go over your words, and I want you to go over your shapes and these middle um, lines that are separating the sections. So I'm going to do that, and you can do that as if you are ready for that step. Going nice and slow. Again, turning your paper. I always think that it's easier to start at the top and come towards your body. So I always turn my paper whenever I'm making a line so that I'm coming towards my body. If you... Um, can do it a different way, go for it. But if you notice that you keep going off the lines, then you might want to try my trick with always doing straight lines coming towards your body. When it comes to the heart, I start in the middle. And then I curve around. And the last one is the circle. And with the circle, I just make sure that I'm comfortable and able to kind of slide my hand on the paper, make a nice circle. And then when you do the words, don't do the lines that you added if you added them. Some of you didn't add them, so that's fine. Um, I just want you to do the words. So sad. Mad. Scared. And the last one, happy.
All right. So that is as far as we're going to get today. Um, for my virtual students, I would like it if, after you're done with this, if you could go back to your color wheel project and make sure that you submit your color wheel. Okay. So it'll be right underneath this video. Make sure you go in, click on that assignment, and submit a picture of this project. Um, we didn't do multiple steps on here um, so that you would have time to do that today. So good luck. Hopefully this turned out. And next class, we're going to be talking about faces that are going to go inside of here um, that express those feelings. And then we're going to talk about colors also that go along with those feelings. So that'll be next class. Bye.